One way to establish a stable quiescent point or cue point is by means of collector feedback bias. In this circuit, a resistor is taken from the collector to the base of the transistor. To analyze how this circuit behaves, we'll start by writing Kirchhoff's voltage law around this loop here. Now, Kirchhoff's voltage law simply says that the sum of the drops of voltages around the loop is equal to zero. Or another way we can say it is that the total voltage drop, VCC, is equal to the sum of the individual voltage drops along the circuit. So we'll use uh, that VCC, therefore, is equal to the sum of all the voltage drops, and that would be IC times RC plus the voltage drop across IB, so that'll be IB times RB plus the voltage drop from collect from base to emitter. So voltage plus voltage base to emitter. Now we have to simplify this equation and uh, so the thing we'd like to do is like to get rid of this term IC. Now the relationship between IB and IC is beta. Beta, you recall, is equal to IC divided by IB. And so we're going to rearrange these terms so that IC is equal to beta IB. Now what we can do is we can substitute this expression into here and then solve for IB. So we'll just do that. Therefore, VCC is equal to, making this substitution, beta IB times RC plus IB RB plus BBE, and that's all equal to VCC, the supply voltage. So now we're going to try and bring the IB terms over to one side. So we'll just rearrange the expression. So we have beta IB RC plus IB RB is equal to VCC minus BBE. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice that uh, we can pull out the term for um, IB. So we'll do that. This is IB times beta plus Oh, sorry, IB times beta times RC plus RB is equal to VCC minus VBE. And now, of course, we can divide both sides by this term and just have IB by itself. Therefore, IB is equal to VCC minus VBE divided by all of this, which is beta RC plus RB. So this equation over here defines the base current in this circuit here. Now once we know the base current, because we know the supply voltage, we know the voltage drop case emitter is about 0.7 volts, beta comes the data sheet, RC and RB are the values that uh, we've used to design the circuit with, we can then find IC. So IC is equal to beta IB. We've already seen that right up here. So that's the second equation which defines how this circuit operates. And then the last thing we'd like to know is what is the voltage from here to here? Well, again, we can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law that VCC is equal to ICRC plus VCE. So we can then say by inspection, really, VCE is equal to this voltage, VCC, minus the drop across RC, which is simply IC, RC. And of course, we just found out what IC was really there. And there are the divine equations for collector feedback bias.